Hello artists. So we are at our fifth week already, third online class. You guys are doing such a great job. Keep it up. I love seeing everyone's artwork. It really brightens up my day. So we're just going to keep on going. And now, just as a little review, we were looking at Italy last week. So remember Renaissance, the late 1300s to the 1600s. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head more east around the globe. So we're actually going to make our way over to Japan. All right. So now what's really exciting about Japan is all of the beautiful patterns we see in the fabric. So they have beautiful silk fabric kimonos. And so we're going to look at those. We are also going to look at some beautiful fish, and we might be able to guess which fish. And also we're going to be looking at the beautiful way that these fabrics are created by hand, and it's still done that way today. So now let's go ahead and we're going to do our warm-up. So remember, 10-minute warm-up, that's what we've always been doing. So now today we're going to be doing a plant still life. So remember, a still life is just objects that are arranged in front of us. And so what we're going to do, you can see it in the corner, is my little orchid. So let's just kind of zoom this over here so you can see. And look at how beautiful it's starting to bloom. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw this little orchid. So now what I'm going to have you guys do is go around your house and try and find some plants, all right? Just one little plant will do, or if you want to walk over, bring your drawing pad, find a plant that you like, and we are going to sketch it for our 10 minutes. So go ahead, you can either sit down, stand up, any way you want to look at your plant, and we're going to draw it together. So go ahead and let's get started. So we're going to look at these really nice big shapes, and we're just going to go ahead. Remember, we're working general too specific so we don't want to look at details right now we just want to get down the main shapes that we see so i see some really nice leaves that are coming up and around and i'm standing up so i'm looking down a little bit at this plant and i love to do nice loose strokes look at that i'm kind of over exaggerating my strokes and you guys are, can just work in some pencil that's totally fine if you want to be a little bit more daring and go in actually with a dark uh, black pen or even a marker the only thing is that if you do a marker don't get so hung up if you do a little mistakes remember they're just mistakes or they can also turn into remember happy accidents so it's okay if we do anything that we're, oh, no, 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 I don't want that to happen, don't do that, okay? You want to just run with it. Those happy accidents are what we live for. So just keep on going. Even if you don't like what's happening, turn it into something that you do like. That is always really important thing to learn. So, and don't worry if it looks a little different than what's right in front of you, that's okay. I'm doing a few extra flowers over here because you know what? Why not? This is my drawing so I can change it any way I want. There's some little clips here that are on the posts that are holding the stem to that pole there. And then also I need to go ahead and there's a lot of roots that are coming up and out of the pot. I think I need to get a bigger pot for this plant. And this leaf is actually coming down even further. I have to extend that down. This one is coming down too a little bit more. This one's kind of coming up and out. And I like to go over the lines that I like a lot. So the lines that I want to keep, I'm going to make them extra bold. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my bottom of my vase on here like that there we go all right I'm going to stop there with my pot of course we can always add those some last minute marks on there and we're going to stop there make sure you always sign your name on your drawings even the warm-ups okay, and now this video is going to be a very inspiring video 
video and you're going to see which fish we are going to draw. So go down below in the description to check it out. So now that we're back together, you figured out what fish it was, it's a koi fish. 